hello everyone you're welcome to my channel you're welcome to this and stitch if you're a new subscriber or returning subscriber you're welcome please kindly like share comment subscribe please subscribe and click the notification bell thank you these are my body's sloper this is the front and this is the back This is my skirt sloper. This is the back. And this is the front. For the front, I had to cut it on fold. Because the design we are making is not at the center. The design is by the side. So I need to cut my sloper this way. Also, I'll be needing my sleeve sloper. All these slopers have been explained before in previous videos. Though they have been explained as pattern with seam allowances. But these ones are slopers, no seam allowance. Only that. The bodies will not be altered. I'm going to use the, the bodies this way. For the front and the back sloper. For the skirt sloper. I'm going to alter it. I'm going to turn it to a pencil skirt. This is a normal straight skirt, both front and back. For the back piece, I'm going to measure 1.5 inches by this side. For the front piece, I'll do the same, measure 1.5 inches. Then I'll connect it to the hip. Then cut it out. Make sure you blend it in so it won't be pointed. You won't have a V effect around the hip. I'll be cutting the front. The two at once. We are going to draw a straight line using the center line of the darts. Depending on the side you want to have your erosion, that is what we determine where you are going to draw this straight line I'm going to be using the left side so that the erosion can be on the left side of the leg Both front and back skirts have been adjusted to a shorter length. This is below the knee. The skirt tutorial, I made a long skirt, but I've gone ahead to cut it short because for this dress style, we need it short around the knee or below the knee. I prefer below the knee so that when the ruched part is raised up it won't be too revealing the leg will be revealing if you want a little bit of closure and this sense make it below the knee so that when it's ruched up it won't look too high but if you don't mind having it on the knee it's also fine for the front piece I'm going to draw a curve here the curve is going to stop where 
I want the rushing or gathers to end. Where I want the opening, after gathering is where I want the opening to stop. That is where I'm going to mark. Then I'm going to blend it gently into the M. I'll do the same for the other side. I'm going to make this one smaller and closer because the space here is very small. I'll make this one wider because the space here is bigger. I'm going to be cutting it out. I'm going to discard the dart. I'm also going to discard this lower part too. I'm going to cut out this first. I'll be labeling this as my M and my waist. This is the side. So it will be easy to identify. I'm going to be doing slash and spread on the two pieces. I want my erosion to start from about 2.5 inches before my waist. I'll mark the same on the other piece. 2.5 inches. The goddess is going to end where my curve is ending, which is here and here. So my goddess or ocean is going to be from where I'm marked is not going to start from the waist because I have a dart here. If you don't want to use a dart, you can pattern yours without the dart on both sides. Then slash here just straight. You won't be removing any dart on that side. No dart on both sides. But because I have dart on my own sloper, I need to consider my dart. So my rushing is going to start from somewhere here. So I can slash it below the dart and avoid the dart. I'm going to measure what I have from ear to ear. I have about 6.5 inches. I'm going to mark one inch all the way down. I'll mark it on the other side too. I'm going to avoid drawing my line over the dart. But if you don't have a dart on yours, you can go ahead and draw it. I'm going to skip this one because it's very close to the last one. I'll do the same on the other side. The first one goes below the hip length, so I want the other side to be the same. So I'll make it below the hip length line. As you can see, I skipped that one because it's close to the last one i'll do the same on this other piece
now i'm going to slash all the lines all the way to the end very close but i won't separate the papers i'm going to place a piece of paper then start with the big one i'm slashing from that side to the side of the skirt very close I'm using so many lines because I want enough fabric, enough space for the ruching. I want the gathers of the ruching to be full. So I'm going to place it this way and spread it open. Make sure you cut very close to the edge so that I can relax here. If it's not close to the edge, it will relax here and you have folds and it will shorten the length you have. I'll spread it open and add about 1.5 inches or 2 inches as much as you want your gathers to be full. I'm going to tape down the first one I make sure I have some space down there and up here for allowances later. All around it, I'll, I'll make sure there's space around it. After taping this down, I'm going to measure 1.5 inches. I'll shift that and measure 1.5 again. I'm measuring from the end of the paper, not from the beginning of the paper. I'll place the next one. I measure 1.5 again. I'll move this and do the same again. I'll move this, measure 1.5 again. Move the next one. Till I get to the end. Then move the last one. I'm going to tape each one down. I'll make sure it doesn't shift around. I'll tape it down there.
I'm going to tape it down there too. This is the final result. I'm going to connect these papers at the edge here and draw a curve there. I'm going to start from the tip of this and draw it all the way. Though I have some excess paper out there, I won't mind. Because when you slash, it tends to increase the length of what you are doing. So I won't mind those small ones that are out of the line. You will not be able to connect all the papers at the same time. So you can take three at a time or two at a time and connect. Then try to blend this. If you don't do it this way, you won't have a smooth straight line. After doing this, I'm going to add my seam allowance one inch here. I'm going to mark from the line I drew and measure one inch. That one inch is what you will use to join the second piece to this one. I'm using one inch so that you can use the one inch to create a casing where you're going to pass the tiny strip of fabric that you are going to use to gather it. At the end, I'm going to be adding one inch as M allowance. At the waist, I'm going to add 0 0.5 inch to sew it back to the bodies. For the side, I'll be using 1 inch size seam allowance. I'll follow the shape as it is. By the time I gather here, it's going to balance by the side. But as it is now, I'll follow the shape as it is. Now I'm going to cut it out. I'm going to repeat the same method for this small piece. I'll cut from here to the side of the skirt.
I'm going to be putting 1.5 inches in between this. I remember to leave some space around it so I can have enough to put my allowances. I'll start with the first one. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Please kindly like, share, comment, subscribe if you're new here, and click the notification bell. Thank you.